Oh there, Pirate Brethren. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Apologies for the uh, lack of content for the last few days. I've um, have been a little bit busy in real life. I had a home renovation project that uh, took precedent over most of the, uh, the long weekend. And it was one of those jobs that once you started it, you couldn't really uh, stop until it was finished. But you know what? The whole thing was a big success. I'm very pleased with the outcome. And you know what? It felt good to take a step back from video games for a few days to uh, do something a bit more practical in the real world. Um, but that being said, let's get into it. So I've missed a few things over the last couple of days. So I'm, I, know, I apologize if you already know all this stuff, but I just want to kind of get it out there for those of you who watch my channel for updates on Skull and Bones. We have the uh, weekly maintenance take place um, over the last couple of days as normal, and we got update 1.4.1 rolled out as a smaller hotfix. Again, just making adjustments to the game. Nothing major here, but uh, I'll read through what was added. So, um, updated activity and event rewards. Updated and increased chance of getting rewards from for the La Peste Strongbox. After collecting all the five ship vanities available from La Peste Strongbox, that's the uh, Plague's Wake, um, Foul Winds, Plague Eater, etc., um, the La Peste Strongbox will now include a chance to obtain the following rewards. Pieces of Eight, Mortar Three, Repair Mortar Three, Leopold Three, Basilisk Three, uh, Zam Threes, Mons Meg Threes, and the Wrathful Ward Armor. So basically, once you've got the five vanity up items, you've got a chance to basically get a high-level piece of equipment out of the strong box. Um, updated activity event rewards. Updated rewards for the La Peste Locker. Uh, we've made the decision to update and increase the rewards obtained from La Peste Locker following community feedback. After collecting all the two ship vanities available, that's the Plague's Work and the Unpacker's Grip, the La Peste Locker will now include the chance to obtain the following rewards. Piece of 8, Fire Bombard 3, Fire Long Gun 3, Flooding Demi Cannons 3, Repair Mortar 2, Tearing Culverin 3s, Mortar 3s, Repair Mortar 3s, Leopold 3s, Basilisk 3s, Zam 3s, Mons Meg 3s, and the Wrathful Ward Armor. So again, this is just a balancing change more than anything, but they've also rolled out a couple of fixes as well. So they fixed an issue where the La Peste Strongbox did not give five items. So I guess it was an issue where it was giving less than that. Um, with contracts, they fixed an issue where players are unable to find the Usurper leader in the contract Nightfall uh, missives and atolls. Fixed an issue where players are stuck in atolls as there are no contracts spawning after re-entering the game after disconnecting. So again, just a few more uh, blockers there removed so just a small update really and uh, this is the kind of thing we're going to we can you know we can basically expect on a weekly basis that being said there was some news dropped yesterday that ubisoft unfortunately had had to uh, lay off more employees i think the total number was 45 people unfortunately have been told they don't have a job anymore and they specifically said the asia pacific region was affected i suspect that means at least a few people at the singapore location have been affected by this uh, restructure um we all know this has been a ongoing uh, thing with the uh, games industry i myself work in the software industry it's not just the uh, the games industry it seems to be all of software and i'm sure it's other industries as well that are going through these type of things this year there's lots of people out there that have uh, that have lost their jobs over the last couple of years and are now looking for new ones and it's really awful to hear about stuff like that um but despite all that, it's also been uh, just kind of a busy week in general for games, uh, at least on my radar. A few of the things that have kind of caught my attention is obviously Diablo 4 came to Game Pass uh, last week, and I've been trying that out with some of my friends. Um, we had the uh, No Man's Sky Orbital update rollout. It was really late coming to Xbox um, for what feels like the second or third time that's happened. And um, if you don't know already, No Man's Sky is an absolutely, absolute favorite of mine. That is a fantastic game. I have sunk way too many hours into that um we also got Ark survival ascended landing in uh, in game pass this week as well i really enjoyed Ark, despite its sh uh, technical issues and shortcomings back when it was in early access on the xbox one um and i was quite interested to check this version out because obviously the uh, the jump to unreal engine 5 um but overall i confess myself a little bit disappointed that it's just exactly the same game and if anything, it feels like it's just taken a step back 
from uh, Ark Survival Evolve. But anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Apologies for the lack of content for the last few days. Like I said, unfortunately, sometimes things in the real world just get in the way. Um, I promise to try and keep up the pace as uh, and be more punctual with the uh, Skull and Bones updates as and when they uh, they get announced by the dev team. But if you enjoy um, quick and consistent Skull and Bones content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.